My name is Tanya Weinrice. I am from Montana where I live with my husband, my hero, a Marine and retired police officer. My husband and I own Mountain Mud Espresso. We are not some multinational corporation. Our success is not measured by stockholders, but by our neighbors, the people we see at church, and at jujitsu school with our son. Mountain Mud Espresso is the American story, a story not just for entrepreneurs, but for millions of hardworking men and women who are building their American dream every day. A few months ago, like so many businesses, we got the crushing news a large event we were serving was canceled because of the virus. Our business was on the brink, threatened to be shut down from losses that were not our fault. I was scared. I thought of our 50 employees, the Mountain Mud family, and when I thought of their jobs, I thought of their rent being due, their kids, and I felt personally responsible. I'm not too proud to admit that I fell on my knees and prayed, Lord, what do I do? His words rang clear, keep on working, it will be okay. I had faith, and let me tell you, you have to have faith when your husband is a Marine and a police officer who was shot at on the job. And when you run a business, a little faith goes a long way. Faith in Jesus and faith in America. But I'm worried we have a generation of Americans who have been told that the American dream doesn't exist. That's a lie. I know because I live that dream. That's why I feel so strongly that we need a president who believes in the American dream like President Donald Trump, now more than ever. I am so thankful that my prayers for help were answered. My company was one of the first to receive a PPP loan, and praise God, it has been a lifesaver. Not only were we able to keep every single employee, but we've been hiring weekly ever since. I feel for local businesses across America who are under assault from shutdowns, from riots, and now facing the terrifying prospect of Joe Biden coming after everything we've built. I am so grateful we have leaders like President Trump standing up for local businesses like mine. Thank you, President Trump. It is exciting to be part of the great American comeback story.